In this video, I'm gonna tell you which drone you should get for your real estate business. I am a licensed pilot. Focus, baby, focus. I'm also a licensed drone pilot. That's a drone one, right? Yeah, that's it. Did you know that you have to be licensed to fly a drone for commercial purposes? Now, in our business, in the real estate world, you only need a drone pilot's license if you are creating listing videos. If it's anything, anything commercial, you should have a, a drone pilot license, the SUAS, the Part 107 license. I got it, and I was flying my drone and shooting listing videos for a while. It's not worth my time anymore. I pay a guy. I know a guy. His name's Chris Diaz. You should. I'll link him below. If you need somebody to shoot your listing videos, he's a great guy to do it. He does great stuff. He actually came from the same place I worked when I worked in the entertainment industry. He was a graphics guy, and he does like amazing, beautiful stuff. But this video is about which drone you should get and whether you're using your drone for listing videos or if you're using your drone the way I use it for everything else I do in my video world, in my real estate business, there are some things you need to know. There are a bunch of drones you could choose from and many of them are amazing. So don't be hating on me for only covering the big dog, which is DJI. DJI has a whole line of drones from relatively inexpensive to really expensive and super high end. And for our purposes as realtors, there's really only two drones we should, we should consider. The lowest end model is not quite great enough quality and the highest end model costs many thousands of dollars. It looks amazing and it's a big monstrosity and not practical to use. The two drones you should be considering if you're a real estate agent are the DJI Mavic Air and the DJI Mavic Pro. The best drone for your purposes is the drone that's with you. And dude, hands down, the best drone for that would be the Mavic Air because the thing is, is friggin' tiny. This is the Mavic Pro folded up, pretty small Mavic Air about half the size, as you can see. As far as size, our first criteria, the Mavic Air wins hands down. Next factor is picture quality. They both have pretty similar cameras, but the Mavic Air records at 100 megabits a second, while the Mavic Pro records at only 60 megabits a second. So in the Mavic Air, there's more data recorded every second, so the picture is going to look better. Both cameras record at 4K, but the Mavic Pro records slow motion in HD only at 96 frames per second, while the Mavic Air does 120 frames a second, so you get slower slow motion, is all that means, with the Mavic Air. The next factor is the gimbal. This is the gimbal on the Mavic Pro. If I take this little thinger out, it's actually, it's pretty, it's pretty floppity, right? It, which is great, it does a great job, but it's, it's pretty delicate. In fact, <laughs> a little embarrassing, the day after I bought my Mavic Pro, the first, like probably the second time I flew it, I'm like, hey guys, check out the obstacle avoidance as I promptly flew it into a building and it crashed and I, and I broke the gimbal. My wife, uh, I don't know if she thought that was funny or not. Anyway, as far as the gimbal, they both have great gimbals. They're both three axis gimbals. They do the same thing, but in the Mavic Air, the gimbal is a little more secure and stable and solid. So in the gimbal department, the Mavic Air wins. What about focus? You have more control over the focus in the Mavic Pro because it has active focus. You tap where you want on the screen and it'll focus on that. The Mavic Air has fixed focus, so pretty much everything's always in focus. The thing is, sometimes you'll forget to focus with the Mavic Pro and it's like, oh crap, stuff isn't in focus. But I prefer the control, so I give focus to the Mavic Pro. Flight time, Mavic Pro, big fat battery, looks like this. This beast will give you 27 minutes of flight time, in theory, if you're, you know, flying at a level speed in slow motion. So it's gonna be less. The Mavic Air is going to give you about 21 minutes of, you know, of non real world flight time. So. Battery life, Mavic Pro wins. What about range? Which drone has the most range? Well, the Mavic Pro can, in theory, go four miles away from the controller, which is amazing and you should never do that because you're supposed to maintain line of sight with your drone when you're flying, but it's got vastly better range. It has something called OcuSync. The Mavic Air has enhanced Wi-Fi. It can, in theory, go about two kilometers. In real life, you know, you shouldn't be going any farther than that anyway. But for range, the Mavic Pro wins hands down. Which one's quieter? Uh, they're so close, you're not gonna notice the difference. They're both drones and you can hear a drone from, you know, 200 feet in the air. The Mavic Air has supposedly been tested and supposedly a tiny bit quieter, so I'm gonna call it a draw. It's so close, it, it doesn't matter. Speed, we did a, 
<laughs> we did a speed test at the lake. You're going in the water. Yeah, pull up. Pull up. They said go the first time in adept drone pilot that I am. My drone went up. And Sam's drone, Sam is the guy flying the Mavic Air, that's his drone, that's my son-in-law. And he went forward and smoked me. And then the next time we went and almost ran into each other. Uh, but ultimately, uh, on paper, the Mavic Air goes 41 miles an hour and the Mavic Pro goes 40 miles an hour when you're in the sport mode. And here's a warning, don't try to fly it in sport mode when you first get it. You will for sure crash it. I finally tried sport mode. Might have been for the first time the other day, and uh, it's pretty zippy. Things, those, the things are freaking fast. Flight modes. They both have pretty similar flight modes. You can say fly around an object, or track an object, or track me. It does, it does a bunch of really cool stuff, and it does most of it pretty well. Both of them are pretty similar in that regard. But the Mavic Air has something the Mavic Pro does not, which is gestures. You can say, follow my hand, track my hand, take a picture, or whatever it is. So it's got gestures, which the Mavic Pro does not have. So in that regard, Mavic Air wins. <laughs> this is one that I, you know, I really kind of need because I'm a little bit reckless. My wife makes fun of me because like the day after I got my BMW 330 many years ago, I was like, you know, showing the on-ramp who was boss and I, I lost and destroyed like my front left control arm as I ate the curb going too stupid fast because the BMW couldn't handle my advanced driving, I think is it. But anyway, obstacle avoidance. The Mavic Pro has forward-facing obstacle avoidance and down obstacle avoidance. So it's not gonna crash anything below or in front of it. The second time I crashed my drone, you know, seriously crashed it, I was probably 80 feet in the air and I was flying backwards over a huge tree. And my wife was my spotter, you should always have a spotter, and she's like, Trevor, go higher, Trevor, go higher, Trevor, go higher. And I'm like, I got this, I got this, I got this. And then ah, 80 feet down. And I had to send it in for the second time because it does not have a rear sensor. The Mavic Air, on the other hand, does have a rear sensor and it can actually fly around things. You're going forward, it's like, oh, there's a chair and you can go over stuff, which is pretty cool. So for obstacle avoidance, the Mavic Air wins. What about the controllers? The Mavic Air does not have an LCD display, so it's gonna be pretty tough to fly the Mavic Air and know where you are or how high you are, how fast you're going without an LCD display. The Mavic Pro, on the other hand, does have an LCD display, which I love. So to be able to fly it without your phone, it's gonna be a lot easier here. So you get a lot more information here. The Mavic Pro wins hands down on the controller. One thing I'd love DJI to do is to give me a display where I can see what my drone sees right here on the, on the controller. Give me a bigger controller or give me a, an LCD display included instead of having to attach my phone to see what the drone sees. And with these controllers, you just pull this thing down and you slide your phone in there. And that's, and these are the antennas, yay. And you know, it's great. My eyes aren't great in my old age, so I'd love, you know, just big beefy LCD display on top of this thing. You can use an iPad, but that's another, you know, that's another few bucks. So that's my request from DJI give me an included LCD display, at least as an option. Because, I, and you know, what's, you know what sucks? Is when you're flying your drone and your wife, I was literally flying my drone in Westlake Village the other day, and my wife saw me flying the drone over the lake and she's like, calling me. I'm like, dude, I'm flying the drone. Don't be calling me, woman. Yeah, I, I guess I should have put it in airplane mode. Price, let me check, that changes all the time. Stand by. Okay, price, on Amazon as of today, the base package with just the drone controller and battery and charger for the Mavic Air is $799 and the Mavic Pro is $899, so hundred bucks difference. What does that mean? Which drone is right for you? Well, for me, I'm actually glad that I got the Mavic Pro and I got this thing before the Mavic Air ever came out. I do like the additional battery life. I like the additional range, not having to worry about that. Um, slightly better image quality would be great. You could see, you know, from the video that it you know, uncorrected video footage. It does look a little bit better in the Mavic Air, but I like the Mavic Pro. I've taken it on a plane probably 10 different times, never had an issue, I'd say just a carry on. And the Mavic Air, even easier to do that with. So it just, it kind of depends. Either one of them are going to be awesome for your videos. And what do I do? I shoot market update videos. I do like vlog style stuff. I do business to business interviews. I use it, you know, all the time for pretty much almost all of my videos. I have a little bit of drone footage in, you know, I go on location and, and go, hey, here's the, this cool beach or this cool restaurant or whatever. And I use my drone. And 
if you have it with you all the time, you're gonna get more stuff. And just throwing in a few seconds of drone video in your marketing videos, just to kind of market yourself out there, it's gonna up the game, up the production value. For more information on either the Mavic Air or the Mavic Pro, click the links below. Either one of these drones are gonna be a two thumbs up. Good luck, have any questions, give me a call. De Paris n'importe bras, bras sur Oh j'entends des chansons Brad sur De Paris n'importe bras, bras sur Oh j'entends des chansons Brad sur De Paris n'importe bras, bras sur Oh j'entends des chansons Brad Thank you.